station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Amiko Cowder. Orbital Sciences attempted to launch its third resupply mission to the station on Tuesday, but the Antares rocket suffered a catastrophic failure shortly after liftoff. An investigation to find the root cause is underway. In the wake of the Antares rocket failure, several cargo ships continue to ferry supplies to and from the orbiting complex. After a successful launch and six-hour trip to the ISS, the Russian Progress 57 cargo craft arrived and docked to the space station with a new delivery of supplies for the Expedition 41 crew on Wednesday. Clearing the way for this new supply ship, the Progress 56 departed the ISS on Monday. The cargo ship backed away to a safe distance from the space station and will undergo three weeks of engineering tests before it deorbits on November 19. And last Saturday, Reed Wiseman and Barry Wilmore used the station's robotic arm to release SpaceX's Dragon cargo craft after more than a month at the ISS. The ship splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, returning more than 3,000 pounds of cargo and science samples. Among research returned to Earth aboard Dragon was the arugula plant growth experiment, a project developed by the Girl Scouts of Hawaii to find out if microgravity affects the nutritional value of plants. Their findings could contribute to eventually growing food in space. This week's social media question asks, how do astronauts on the ISS do laundry? Well, with no laundromat aboard, crew clothing is carried to the ISS on visiting cargo ships. Crew members wear most items more than once. Their bodies are floating inside their clothes so they don't get as dirty as they would here on Earth. A pair of pants can be worn for about a month. Make sure to keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.